Well, as per usual, life's been very, very exciting down at the farm. It doesn't rain for three years, but of course, as soon as I um, get to a point where I can uh, sort out all my sheep, with regards to the gawkers all coming on board and the merinos, get them all shorn, clean up my massive lice problem, and of course, just make sure that, that I'm putting all the right sheep on the on my new barley fields. It rains. The night that I'm shearing. So of course we spent four hours last night um, making sure we could get as many sheep as possible under cover. And uh, we had a bit of an issue. We had a bit of an issue because uh, we've got a lot more sheep than we do shed space. So if you have a look at the floor, you can see exactly where we ended up putting the sheep last night. And I can assure you, um, the poor old shearers weren't very happy with that at all. But, you know, that's what happens. That's what happens on a farm. But, uh, look, we got all the sheep shorn. Well, all the ones that we had inside the shed and underneath the shed. So, I've got all these bales today, which is fantastic. over here another mountain all this wall here is actually where you put skirtings so the skirtings is, is pretty much so just all the vegetative matter the sweaty part which comes from around this body here the reason we have so much is uh because i didn't have a classer this time around we just the shearers and myself just skirted the whole wall so we have a massive pile i'll have to get to that later at the moment i've just got to make sure that all the ewes are fine they've got to go back to their lambs because of course we didn't didn't uh, shear all of the ewes so we've got a bit of a, a problem now that we've got half the ewes unshorn because they got wet and then half the ewes shorn and so we've had to mix all the lambs up and it's a bit of a drama but you know that's just life and uh, there's no way I'm going to complain about this rain that we've just had so come and have a look at the ewes so these are all the shorn ewes they're the lucky ones or unlucky because lucky because they've got rid of that that really heavy woolen coat and of course now that it's wet they would have, would have gone outside and got drenched and it would have been you know like walking around with a big a big set of, of woolly jumpers on but of course it's freezing today as you can see like last week it's been hot as hell but it's freezing so poor buggers it's a little bit cold when they've had their food the unfortunate thing though is that i didn't get them all shorn so i've got the pretty shorn use back to unshorn use and there, there's always been contamination from the to, to lice because the only chemical I actually use on the farm is to treat lice and uh, it is a real problem that I always face. You always treat lice as soon as you've shorn and that's the optimal time to get right in. It's just kind of like nicks really. And uh, the problem here is, is that I've got shorn ewes, which is great. Yes, I can treat them, but then I've got all these un un unshorn ewes. And so to mix them together, after a treating of those, that's a little useless. So I'm not going to be able to treat them, which is a bit of a problem. But that stuff happens. But I would like you to come and see. So, yeah. As you can see, there's a lovely you there. She's a proud mum of the twins. When you are shearing, and you do have a system whereby, like me, I produce lambs all year round, so that means that, that they're pregnant all year, like my ewes are pregnant all year round. Sometimes when you're in shearing, you don't see which ewe belongs to which lamb, and that's when you get mismothering, like this, this poor little bugger over here. Now this little cutie, like seriously, how can you not fall in love with him? Hey mate. Now, he's so cute and all you'd want to do is hug him and cuddle him and tell him it's all okay. But somewhere out there, in amongst the thousand odd ewes that I've got, is his mum. So I've got to make sure that if I, if I touch him, he'll lose his, lose his scent. So if I touch him too much, his mum won't find him. So though he's cute and adorable, I can't hold on to him. Which is really sad, because he is so cute and adorable. So what I'm going to do now is that all these ewes back out there, the lambs, you can see the lambs there, they're all just waiting for their mums.
worst things a sheep farmer can do is put shorn youth with unshorn youths. But that's what happens when it rains. Perfect example of the breeds that I'm using. This little lamb here is really sort of towards the merino, whereas this one here that looks more like a, a cat with, with a lot of hair, um, that's swung way more to the, the dorper. But as you can see, they're little twins, but they've totally swung one to mum and one to dad. Little cuties, put them back to mum.